Why is there always cats above me? Oh shit, there's two of them. What? What? <laughs> Everything is backwards on film. Oh shit, I want to put the other one. There we go. Ow! Dolly. Oh, it's because you're way back there. Okay. Kyle. Kyle has returned something to me, but he put something else in there. Oh no. Actually, I think both of these are lens. I think there's the switch, like a 3D printed switch. And then I think there's the lens cap from Dan Bruner. Oh, on these, in this. I think so. I think the stuff he's returning is coming a little bit later. So I think the switch and then the Dan Bruner thing. Now I've seen those switches around the ones where there's like, I mean, it's not really a switch. They're keycaps, keys. They're like key things. And I'm like, why? Like, why, why would you want that? I just haven't ever pulled the trigger. And I saw you had a few for sale. And I said, can I borrow some? And he's like, sure. Now these are the 3D printed ones, but he said they're not as cool looking, but um, they they work a lot better and they're cheaper. Okay, cool, yeah. Ah. All right, so let's take a look at these keycaps. Oh, I get it now. Wow. Damn. Okay, I understand. Wow, they feel good. They're not like normal keycaps. They actually like have, they're springy and they've got a sound to them. Okay, now this is what I really wanna see. Now, what Dan Bruner did is he took lens caps. He bought a bunch of them, like lens, like camera lens caps. And he put these clicky things in them and he sold them for like, 25 bucks or something? I don't know. I was gonna buy it and then I was just like, meh. But Kyle bought one. Oh yeah, shit. This reminds me exactly of the Puffer Crash. Yeah, these are good. Shit, I should have gotten one. Damn it. Damn it. else you put in there. What? Okay, let me turn the camera around. This is Tut Tut. She's sweet. Ow! She's literally biting me, but she's being nice about it. Are you guys okay with um, me doing the rest of the video like this? Because there's a cat now in the area that I was planning on using. Okay, so this is the lens cap by Dan Bruner. I just messaged him. He was selling these originally for 40 bucks. He says he's taking a break and selling them but he is going to be making them in the future. This thing's really, really awesome. I should have gotten one. It's basically exactly like the puffer fish, puffer crash fish, um, fish, puffer crash necklace. And I wear that every day. So this thing's really awesome. I should have gotten one. It comes with all these different, you can get, uh, it comes with like 75 different uh, buttons they all have different feeling to them and you can kind of create your own little lens gap so this thing's really awesome it feels nice in the hand i like the aesthetics of it it's just cool it's a little homemade project but it's nice 
just feels great. It's super thin. Mm. And then these, I I think these were by Poly 3D Print. Oh, you can make them into lanyards. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much they were, but way cheaper than the, the more expensive ones. He said that they sound a lot better than the really expensive ones. So these are 3D printed. Feels really good. God, they just feel nice. I love them. I don't know how much these cost though. I gotta look it up. But um, I'll put a link in the description as to where he got them and how much they could be. So this is the two keycap one. And you can take off these keycaps and put other ones on there. I've seen people do them. Um, but yeah, they feel really nice. And Gosh, I don't know why I slept on these for so long. They feel nice. Now, I don't know what's better to have a 4-1, a 3-1, a 2-1. But I will say that they're very, very satisfying. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory, but they feel really nice. And these are very, very well made. But like I said, I'll put a link in the description as to where Kyle got these. But I would recommend those definitely and this too. Uh -huh, I'll be ordering one of these once Dan makes them again. Ah, oh, it feels nice. God, they're just so... It's so um, addictive, this one. Shit, I should have ordered it. Why did I not? Anyway, there you go, folks. There she be. These are fun. I don't know if I would recommend the really expensive ones. I hope Kyle does a video on them. Because um, he said they're not as good as the cheap ones. It's amazing what you can 3D print nowadays. Sure. Okay, well anyway, thank you guys for watching.